Hello everyone, this is Jerry Pacey, Pepler Fuchs Product Manager. What I'd like to discuss today is the PGV, or Position Guided Vision. The goal for this video is to become familiar with the device itself and the software used with it, Vision Configurator. For reference, I have posted a link in the description box below for an intro video and also an operation manual. So let's first begin by describing what's used inside the demo case here. You have the PGV read head and the PCV read head. For this video, we want to focus on the actual PGV read head. You can verify this by looking on the back of the device. It'll have a part number that calls out the PGV. Also we have included is the RS-485 converter, which has the USB to connect to the PC and the power supply. We also have our alignment guides and also our sample cards that we'll use with the PGV. Now that we have the correct components, let's start by installing the Vision Configurator software to the PC. You can find the install file on the USB thumb drive this video is on. Once you double click the install file, you'll be taken through a standard program install process. Halfway through, you'll be prompted with the option to install a series of drivers. Make sure you check each box to ensure that all of the drivers are installed. Once the installation is complete, the software will be up and running. The initial screen you will see has a few key elements. What we want to focus on is the device family section. This is where we will select which device we are connecting to Vision Configurator. Make sure you are on the Vision option. And at the bottom, make sure to select the PGV under Device Type. Within that row, make sure that the correct interface type is selected. In this case, with our demo, we are using the RS-45 interface. This is a good time to physically connect the PGV read head to the RS-45 converter. The converter is what we use to pair the read head to the PC. You want the connection to look like this. The V19 cable connects to the connector on the read head. The USB coming from the converter will connect to a USB port on your PC and the power supply to a standard wall outlet. Once you connect the USB to the PC, you will see Windows begin to install the USB device driver, which is a standard Windows operation. After a few seconds, you will see a prompt telling you the driver software was successfully installed. At this point, back to the software, click the Refresh COM ports at the bottom. Then in the PGV row above, make sure to select the COM port you are plugged into from the drop down menu. Once these settings are completed, you can click the OK button at the bottom. You will then see a new screen pop up, which is the main window of Vision Configurator after the sensor settings have been loaded. This is where you can change input and output functions, adjust resolution, and see a visual representation of what the read head is seeing when it's in action, and that is just the beginning. For this demo, we want to show a few of the PGV samples and how the software and read head interacts with them. Within the software, let's select the position tab up top. Once there, let's click start request. This tells the read head to output the information it sees to the software. Notice above, there's a drop down menu for lane selection and color selection. In this example, we want to use the sample card with the two rows of blue colored tape. So we want to select first lane found for lane selection. Accordingly, since this is blue, we want to select that color for the color selection drop down menu. Next, let's introduce the actual sample card for the PGV to analyze. We can begin by aligning the PGV read head. Grab the alignment guide and hold it on the side of the read head as shown here. This guide will ensure that the read head is at the optimal reading distance from the sample card. With the read head at that distance, line the sample card up in front of the flashing camera. Once they are aligned at the proper distance, you can remove the alignment guide. Within the aligned distance best you can, move it back and forth. When the sample card is moved about, you will see the color of the tape highlighted along with the key information you receive from colored route tracking tape. That information is the Y value and angle value. This is very useful for automated guided vehicles, better known as AGVs, as the user can track the angle of the turns and also the Y value. 
As you can see here, as I move the sample card up and down about the y-axis, the value in the software reflects this change. Also, if I rotate the card, the angle value changes. If we switch out the two-row blue sample card for the single-row yellow tape, we have to make a quick change in the software. Click Stop Request, and below you will see a few tabs. These tabs are where several features of the PGV can be used as we mentioned earlier. When we want to use the yellow tape, we can select the Code Band and Optics tab. From there, under the Color Selection drop-down menu, pick Yellow. Above, in Control, under Color Selection, you want to select Use Parametized Color. Now that the correct color is set, you can introduce the yellow tape sample card in place of the two-row blue and select Start Request just like before. Now you will see the color yellow highlighted in the software and the Y value and angle value given as you move the sample card back and forth. It is very important to keep in mind that while the color route tracking tape is very useful for route guidance, it is limited to plus or minus 45 degrees in angular feedback. This is why for a full 360 degree angular feedback we recommend using the positional coat tape. In this aspect, the coat tape is superior. For the next demo, we want to show you how the PGV is unique with the ability to combine the code tape, color tape, and control code. Without stopping the request or making any changes to the software, swap out the yellow tape sample card for the PGV code tape, color tape, and control code sample card. You will quickly see how the PGV and software show the different data received from each sample. As the sample card is moved from the beginning, where there is only the yellow tape, you receive the Y value and angle value as we've seen before. But now, as we move the sample card by the code tape and control code, you will see the X value in addition to the Y and angle. There is also a visual representation of the code tape and control code highlighted in the line data section. Generally, a control code is used to initiate an action, such as turns, stops, or speed control. Using them in conjunction with the positional code tape is very beneficial for the AGV environment. The next sample card we want to demo is the curved code tape. Oftentimes with the AGV, a user may travel around corners. This is where a bent or curved code tape is still capable of outputting positional feedback. By simply cutting the code tape as illustrated in the installation manual, the user can traverse around a bend with their vehicle all while receiving precise X, Y, positional and angle feedback. As you move the curved sample card back and forth, watch how the angle value changes more drastically than before. This is because of the curve in the code tape. The last sample card we want to demo is the 85 by 85 millimeter data matrix tag. This code tape offers a combination of all the PGV features. You can receive X and Y position information, angular feedback, and each tag can have a specific ID number similar to a control code. If you align the data matrix tag sample card, you can see how the PGV scans the yellow colored tape, then onto the tag itself. Look closely in the position view window and you can see the specific tag ID number. This specific number can be used to make decisions in your application. Each object can have their own tag number. The last note worth mentioning is that you may notice that all of the sample cards are covered with a clear laminate cover. Keep in mind that in real world applications with the PGV, the code tape is usually installed on an industrial factory floor. While the code tape does have a very good chemical resistance and mechanical stability, we definitely recommend using the clear protective laminate installed over top the tape. This further protects the tape and improves its longevity, all without sacrificing any of the scan quality to the PGV. Now that you have a brief introduction to the PGV, sample cards, and Vision Configurator software, feel free to play around and see how it can be useful in your application. Hopefully this video has been informative and helpful. If so, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below or by using the contact information I've posted below in the description box. Have a good day.